think people often assume that if you're blind you might not want to go tramping or climb mountains because a lot of people tend to for the view at the top but there's so many other senses involved when I'm tramping I can smell all the different things in the bush you know rain showers just brings up all the different kinds of smells and the bird life on the Kepler was amazing I heard so many different things and the expertise of the hut wardens and, and looking at all the different plants up here the track of Fulham is quite a small plant that gave me a real sense of what the park is like and talking to everyone else in my group about their experiences so I could gain a pretty fulfilling picture from that I was born with a vision impairment which meant I had about 10% of normal sight and when I was a teenager I lost the rest of my sight. So I can see light and dark and my eyes don't block out any light so I often wear dark glasses especially outside. When I'm tramping I just use my normal white cane which I would normally walk around the city with. When I'm tramping I use it as a kind of directional tool so there's a guide, someone who is walking in front of me and they hold the cane by their hip and then it goes horizontally to my hip where I hold the handle and from that I can get a pretty good gauge of their left and right movements as well as if they're going up or down and they're constantly talking about any steps and any changes in terrain. If you're keen for doing something that's quite physically challenging but very manageable with the right preparation and gear then I definitely recommend Kepler or one of the other great walks. The track is amazing but you do need to have yeah, a, a good level of fitness just to make it to each, each hut each day.